All right, it's Jersey Jaguar, back at you with another Jersey review slash unboxing. I'm excited to show you one that I just got today, and that is the 2023 Edmonton Oilers Heritage Classic Connor McDavid jersey. Guys, this is a wild one. I know it had mixed reviews, but in hand, does this live up to the hype? You're about to find out right now. All right, guys, so it's time to go over the details of this jersey. Now, I'm going to be explaining and walking you through the jersey in a video. And to the side of the video, I'm going to have some close-up, high-definition photos to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get to it now. All right, guys, so here's the jersey. Again, it is a 2023 Heritage Classic Edmonton Oilers Connor McDavid jersey. Now, this is a men's Adidas size 50. That's what I choose to wear. All right, guys, so let's go over the basics first. Now, color-wise, as you can see, we're going to have a main color of royal blue. Nice royal blue. Secondary color, we are going to have a orange as the secondary color. And then for the trim, it is going to be a beige slash cream trim. Now, guys, on the stock photos, I thought it was white. All right, guys, now in terms of materials for the jersey itself, it's going to be your standard prime green Adidas hockey jersey materials, so not so much there. Now, in terms of the customization, there is no tackle twill and there is no vinyl twill. It is all felt, even multi-layer felt, which is cool, on the front crest. And then when we turn the jersey around, we are going to have multi-layer felt. All right, so let's go over the fine details of this jersey, guys. We're going to go ahead and start with the captaincy as well as the number 97. We're going to have multi-layer felt, like I said earlier, but it's going to be a specialized font. And guys, if I remember, the Dallas Stars used this on their Winter Classic, so it's cool to see this font again. And guys, just like on the Stars Winter Classic, it is going to be finished and touched off with this single chain-stitched border going around it, right? Really nice to see. And again, it's all felt. Let's flip the jersey back around. And we're going to have the same treatment on the rear numbers. It's going to be multi-layer, which you don't see too often on Winter Classics. Orange with that cream. And again, we're going to have that single chain stitch going around it. On the name, it's going to be standard stitching with single cream color. All right, guys. So let's address the design of this jersey and those details with the design, guys. One thing I like is how the C is over the stripe. They really paid attention to vintage jerseys, guys. Now, on the front, again, we're going to have all felt. And it's going to be nicely done with that single chain stitch going around it. And if you look here in the corners, this isn't actually connected. These are two separate pieces to give it a 3D effect. So that's really cool. Now, this crest and jersey is strongly based off the 1952 Edmonton Mercury. And that season, they actually won the Hockey World Cup. So a little piece of information there. All right, guys. Now, the big attraction of this whole jersey, the most controversial thing, is going to be that front 97 inside of the oil drop. It's 97 specifically for Connor McDavid. Each player is going to have their number inside of that oil drop versus having it on both sleeves. It's just going to be on one sleeve, as you can see right here, and in the oil drop. One thing I really like about the oil drop, again, it's all felt. However, it's kiss-cut felt a post where the rest of the jersey is going to be stacked felt. So really cool. And then finally to finish it off on top, we're going to have Battle of Alberta. And on the Calgary Flames jersey, it's also going to say Battle of Alberta, being that both these teams are from Alberta. So really cool uh, piece right there. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this video and my other content, I would greatly appreciate a like and subscribe as it greatly helps my channel grow. Thanks again. All right, guys, so it's time for the measurements part of the video. I'm not going to go fully into how to measure a jersey. I have a video on that already. With that said, let's start off with the pit to pit, meaning the chest measurement. We're going to have 22 and a half inches. Next up at the body, just below the pit to pit, we are going to have 22 inches. So meaning it's going to taper in. And then it's going to come back out towards the waist at about 23 and three quarters inches. Now top to bottom, meaning how long the jersey is, we're going to have 32 inches from the inside of the collar to the shoulder hem we're going to have seven inches from the shoulder hem all the way down to the end of the sleeve we're going to have 23 inches so that means if we stretch the sleeve out from the inside of the collar to the end of the sleeve it's going to be 30 inches all right guys so obviously you can see how the jersey fits this is a adidas men's size 50 guys i'm a little over 6'2 and 185 pounds
All right, so as you guys can see, there's a lot more going on with this jersey than just aesthetically. All those small, fine details make a big difference. If you want to see what I thought about these originally, along with the Calgary Heritage Classic, check out the video. I think you'll like it. Guys, let me know in the comments if you'll be getting one of these or how you like these in general. If you want to see me do another video in the future, also let me know. I'll see you at the next one.